here we are. Buddha talks about the infinite life sutra, which is pure, clean, equal, and aware. So when we treat everything as equal, everything and everyone as equal in the world, we will no longer have upsets, anger, and jealousy. Chapter 6, phrase 18. The question is, well, if I chant Amitofo, am I going to die? Am I going to end up in the pure land? When do I go? How do I go? So here's what the Buddha said in the Sutra. 18. Amitofo is talking about this for himself. When he was a monk, Dhammakara monk, he had a vow. This is the 18th vow. Ten recitation of his name, you will be reborn for sure. When I become a Buddha, this is the Dhammakara monk, before he became the Amitabha Buddha, this is what he says. When I become a Buddha, in the ten directions, all the living creatures, sentient beings, ghosts, animal, human, whatever realms, hears and understands and connects to his name, will have the bodhicitta, will have the aspiration of a bodhisattva to help alleviate the suffering of everybody. So if somebody who is very selfish, very mean, doesn't you know, doesn't care for other people and actually doing bad things, they can recite his name 10,000 billion times, it's not going to help. So the foundation of this is having a bodhicitta, which is the heart of the enlightened mind that says, I shall attain enlightenment to alleviate the suffering of all sentient beings. That's why it's called Mahayana, the big vehicle. It's more than just getting yourself out of reincarnation the cyclical cycle of samsara and practice and cultivate all different kinds of vir virtues following the six paramitas the bodhisattva six paramitas the six paths the six perfections of following the precepts or morality uh, concentration and then wisdom when you follow the rules you will have meditation or concentration and the wisdom arises when the mind is calm and on top of it, there is the endurance or patience and generosity or charity. A very firm resolve, never lose, loses that. And then after, the, what, after all the good things has been cultivated, they dedicate the merit of all those good virtuous deeds to the wish, to the vow, to be reborn in the pure land in his country, Yuan Guo. Yi Xin Nian Wo. One heartedness recall his name. So ye Buduan. Evening and day, day and night, continuously. And that so when the the life span ends, Ling So Zhong Si, he will come with all the different bodhisattvas in front of the person who is reciting Amitabha Buddha's name. And then in an instance, they will be reborn in his country, in his land or the pure land to become a, a, a level of bodhisattva which is same as Avalokiteshvara, Guanyin Pusa where you can have clairvoyance, transcendental powers be able to hear, see, travel, transform to all world systems simultaneously could reincarnate as a human being or as a dog or as a ghost to help and alleviate our beloved past parents, grandparents, relatives, classmates, everybody, anybody that we know. And if he cannot accomplish this, he shall never become a Buddha. So this is 19 and 20. And 18 itself is, when I become a Buddha, sentient beings in 10 directions will hear my name. They will be very happy and confident and believing in the Pure Land and in Amitabha Buddha then all the virtuous deeds and every thought will be dedicated to be reborn in the pure land and willing, willing and wishing to be reborn in the western pure land even until the 10 thoughts even if there are only 10 thoughts the last 10 thoughts in, in the person's mind before leaving the body if he cannot if a person does that and cannot be reborn in the pure land he shall not 
a tenfold enlightenment. And except for the people who have the five vicious acts, killing parents, killing Buddha, uh, destroying Sanghas, destroying the places of worship and the people who gather, and then who, who libel or who blasphemes against the proper teaching. So this is the 18th vow. So the, so net net, when a person can continuously keep Amitabha Buddha's name in mind and reciting it day and night without interruption, without other intervening thoughts, right now and here and then, this moment, uh, I can see Amitabha Buddha Buddha because he's always here, only that we are not able to connect to it because of our attachment, anger, greed, judgment, identity, all kinds of attachments we have. So some advanced practitioners can see the Amitabha Buddha while they are alive, and some of them have seen Amitabha Buddha and then go on to live another 60, 70, 80 years. Uh, it depends. So some people want it to leave immediately, some people want to stay. And Amitabha would tell this monk in the Sun Dynasty to come back, and he, you know, Amitabha will come back and, and, and get him in three days, so he could prepare and inform other people. And so the f future practitioners, such as myself and my, and my dad, we will be able to have faith, generate understanding, and really focus on this. So this a explains the fact that no, you will not die when you recite Amitabha Buddha's name and then you end up in the pure land. No, it is based on, on your lifespan. If you want to give up your lifespan, that's up to you. If you have good practice, you can really focus your mind, have the ability while you are alive. You can make a connection. It's kind of getting a visa to get to the pure land, but you don't have to go until your time is up or whenever you choose to go. That is when you have the real freedom and confidence. You can come and go as you wish. So that's that.